In my first year, I lived in Signet Wharf and I will be moving to St Mark's this year. Whether you've already applied for your accommodation or you're just looking at options for next year, this video is perfect for you. Although it's a really exciting time, you may be nervous and have a few questions. Now it's the time to choose which accommodation is best for you. It's a big decision to make, so take your time, look into it and plan ahead. The accommodation services here at the University of Lincoln, they manage seven buildings on and off campus. When choosing, you need to weigh up your priorities. Do you need an ensuite? Do you need a studio? Um, what's your budget? Also consider the distance to the university. So for me, in my first year, I didn't drive, so I chose Signet Wharf because it was on campus. It was next to the doctors. I was in walking distance to Morrison's, the local supermarket, and I could get to my lectures all on time. I'd also recommend taking a look at the bursaries and scholarships page on the website. Um, here you can find if there's any offers available on accommodation. So for me, this year there is a half price bursary for St Mark's as I'm a postgrad student from the UK. Now, all of the information is available on accommodation.lincoln.ac.uk, so just have a look over there. There are tons of 360 video tours on there and also the ability to come and look at the accommodation in person during open days. If you're still unsure, why not just chat to the accommodation services team and they'll be sure to advise you on the best options for you. Once you've made your mind up, it's time to book. Generally, what will happen is once you've accepted your university offer on UCAS, you will get sent an email um, with the application system online for you to log in and then choose your accommodation. Here, you can select your top four choices and you can also decide what room choice you want as well. So whether you want a studio, a ensuite, non-ensuite with a shared bathroom it's completely down to you if you'd like a more detailed step-by-step -step guide i'd recommend heading to the accommodations website and clicking how to apply you've booked your accommodation you've had it confirmed and it's time to arrive there are some instances where you will get sent out an email after your room offer to book a time slot for your arrival this is because lincoln can get very busy especially during freshers week um, as you've got thousands of students coming back onto campus so make sure you keep checking your inbox for this email also make sure you bring photo id to pick up your keys No doubt, like me, you plan all over summer as to what you're going to bring and you buy gradually. Before you start buying, check on the accommodations website to see what your accommodation already has in place. I know most accommodations already come with a microwave, they'll have a kettle as well. Also, talk with your flatmates, there are tons of Facebook groups out there for you to try and find flatmates that you'll be sharing with that year. Talk to them about what they're bringing just so you don't bring double of things. But I'd recommend making a list of everything that you'll need, especially what you use already at your home with your family. Bring things that you wouldn't think of bringing. For me, I forgot coat hangers, so I had to buy these when I arrived. I went to Wilco. Um, I'd also recommend bringing things that make your room really comfortable and homely. So these can include uh, photos. I got these printed by Free Prints. Um, they're the Polaroid style, so they're not real Polaroids, but they look like Polaroids. I'd also recommend bringing like a teddy if you grew up with one. So for me, I have this boy, this Dumbo. I've had him since first year, but I had him like four years before that. So bring a teddy or something, or like a blanket or something that makes your room feel like your room. Things that often get forgotten, I know I forgot them when I arrived and I know so many people um, did as well. A pizza tray, a clothes horse, an extension lead. You'll need lots of extension leads, but I'd at least bring two. Um, and then bring anything that could encourage flat activities. Even if it's just a deck of cards or like a Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo Wii are also very fun to have. But try and encourage flat activities. If you do forget anything, like I've got my coat hangers, um, there are tons of shops in Lincoln that you can just pop to to get them. Uh, we have a Wilco, The Range, B&M, all of these on hand within walking distance from campus to just pick up any bits that you forgot. 
moved in and now you need to make friends with your flatmates. You're all in the same boat and you're all not going to want to leave your comfort zone of your new room. My first year when I was getting to know my flat, there were 10 of us, um, we all decided to go to the cinema and we all saw Venom. Now, even though uh, it, it wasn't my cup of tea at the time, I wanted to go just to kind of be part of the group and have that memory. But also go for a wander with your flatmates, go around campus, discover the city. There's so many things for you to do here and it's important to make the memories with your flatmates. If you're looking for anywhere nice to go, I'd recommend Towers or the Swan or the Barge, but I'd also recommend the Mailbox, which is in town. Also, why not have a wander around campus and familiarise yourself with some of the university buildings and some of the routes to your university lecture rooms? And then also take a look at the university services that we have on offer. There's the accommodation services team that help with any maintenance or issues you have with your flat. There's also student support and student wellbeing that have anything to do with um, educational needs to financial difficulties, they'll be there to help you. There's also the residential wardens on hand to give you any help and advice with your flat if anything's happening that, that's out of hours, um, they'll be there to help you. And then there's us, Student Life. Um, we provide videos and articles and everything social media from students for students. We have tons of videos and articles on social media and on our website. Anything from settling in to packing for uni to dealing with homesickness we've got you covered also why not join in in some of the activities that the student union has planned for freshers week so that was my guide on student accommodation i hope you enjoyed it i bet you can't wait to move in but if you do have any questions just speak to your flatmates or the accommodations team and they'll be sure to answer them thank you for watching